Many people believe that friendship between a human and a wild beast is impossible, especially when it comes to wolves. According to these people, wild animals cannot be tamed. Yes, they can. For some time, they show themselves friendly towards a person. But in fact, they're just waiting for the right moment to attack their victim. With wolves, you must always be on the lookout. After all, they are wild animals. They live by instinct, and their instinct tells them that it's better to attack first. This is the story of a man who wanted to prove that this was not so, and that in life, there is a place for any friendship, both between people and between people and wild animals. But unfortunately, he did not succeed. It happened in the Ural Mountains. School was out and the students were carefree. On weekends, they went to the movies, and during the week they would gather to play guitars and sing songs. One weekend, they decided to take a break from city entertainment and go fishing in the forest. About 20 people went. They collected all the necessary equipment for fishing and hiking. Fishing rods, tents, sleeping bags, camping utensils, warm clothes, and shoes. And on Friday evening, they set out on their journey. The way was long. At first, they went by bus to a nearby village, and then they had to cross a small section on foot through the forest. Then they arrived at a beautiful lake full of fish. One student led the way as he knew this forest well because he grew up on the outskirts. Normally, no one spoke to him because they didn't have much in common with him, and he seemed kind of weird. But it's important to have someone who knows the area well and can show the best places to fish as well as skillfully start a fire, how to put up tents, and cook over a campfire. They quickly set up camp and started collecting rods for fishing. After a couple of hours, delicious fish soup from freshly caught fish was boiling in a kettle over the fire. After dinner, they took out their guitars. At that moment, they heard a wolf howl. Now, if you've ever listened to a wolf howl yourself, then you must know that that sound is very unnerving, especially when you're aware of the fact that the wild animal is near you and you are absolutely defenseless. Judging by the loud sound of the howling, they realized that the wolf was somewhere very close to them. They were petrified as they would not like to meet such a wild beast face to face. Some of the braver guys decided to go towards the sound in order to drive the wolf away. Among these was the young man who had grown up outside of the forest. Armed with sticks, skewers, and stones, they went into the forest towards the direction from where they heard the sounds of the wolf. But very soon they heard the barking of dogs as well. Carefully, not trying to make unnecessary noise, they made their way through the thicket of the forest. The sounds of the dogs grew louder so they realized that they were going in the right direction. Very soon, the dense thickets ended, and a large clearing opened up in front of them, upon which a frightening scene was unfolding. They saw a pack of stray dogs that surrounded the lone wolf. The dogs slowly narrowed the ring, coming closer and closer to the wild beast and preparing to attack him. They must have heard his howl and rushed to meet him in order to drive him out of their territory. The wolves usually live and walk in packs, and a lone wolf is easy prey for a pack of large dogs. Nevertheless, the wolf bared his fangs. The students, seeing this, became really bold because now they understood that the wolf was no longer dangerous to them since it was at the mercy of these dogs. One guy even started a bet on who would win the battle, the lone wolf or a pack of stray dogs. They were so busy with their bets and cheerful discussion of the upcoming battle that no one noticed the guy from the outskirts of the forest. And he was looking around in search of something. Meanwhile, the pack of dogs pounced on the wolf and began to gnaw at him. The wolf fought back as much as he could, but he was clearly outnumbered. And very soon he fell to the ground. It was at this moment that our hero jumped out of the bushes, right into the very place where the grappling animals were. He waved a stick and snarled like a dog. He beat the dogs on the back and did his best to drive them away from the wolf. The students were taken aback. Why did he run out there into the clearing? Why did he decide to help the wolf and not the dogs? 
All this seemed very weird to them. He continued fighting for the wild animal. Soon, the dogs retreated and ran back into the forest. And he sat down next to the wolf, which was lying motionless on the ground, and he put his hand on his neck. He stroked the wolf and talked to him. But what exactly he was saying to him, no one could hear. They only looked dumbfounded as he stroked the wild animal. At that moment, the wolf opened his eyes and stared at his savior. With help, he managed to get to his feet. They looked into each other's eyes for several moments, and then the wolf limped off towards the forest and very soon disappeared into the thicket. On their way back, the students asked why he helped the wolf and not the dogs. To this question, he told them his story. When he was a little child, he and his father had found a little wolf pup in these forests. He was fragile and would not have survived alone in the forest if he and his father had not taken him home. The wolf pup lived in their house until he got stronger. All this time, the boy played with him, fed him, and looked after him. They really became friends. But his father would not allow the wild animal to stay with them forever. And when the wolf pup grew up and got stronger, he and his son took him back to the forest and set him free. The boy was so worried about this and cried for a long time, missing his pet. But he also understood that the place of a wild beast was in the forest, among other wolves. And today, having seen this wolf, it seemed to him that this was the one, his wolf pup. And he, without hesitation, rushed to his aid. Unfortunately, the group did not understand his story. They decided he was strange, and it was better to stay away from him. No one spoke to him the rest of the weekend. Soon, everyone forgot about his story, as well as about this brave young man who fearlessly rushed to save a wild beast from a pack of stray dogs. This is how it happened sometimes. The wild animal was able to show a real feeling of gratitude but the people showed no compassion or support. Now, what do you think about this story? Have you ever experienced such a friendship in your life? Does it matter if it's a friendship between people or between a person and an animal? <laughs>